Hi, this is directed more towards uh, Candace than hey. anyone. I've heard a lot about you, haven't really went to an event like this in general. I get the point that you're not really well liked specifically with the black community, but one thing I wanted to, one thing I wanted to address was growing up socially, a lot of black people around me at least were conservative. They went to church every Sunday. They were very religious. They weren't a biggest fan of LGBT. That's just how they were. Mm -hmm. What do you think is stopping them from being in this room? Culture. That's the truth. Um, there, uh, black America has faced a full cultural decline before everybody else. I actually believe that the government experimented first with black Americans, LBJ and the Great Society Act, to see how they could completely um, annihilate, obliterate the black family and make the black family worship not God. We used to be at the center of all families in America and is no longer at, but worship government and more governance. Uh, welfareism destroyed black America and it created the toxic culture that we see today. Every single ill that black America is facing, they are facing because we went from a 22% single motherhood rate uh, back in 1964 to today the single motherhood rate being 73%. We don't have our families together. 73, more than 73% of black Americans are growing up without a father in the home. So you could just imagine what that does when I say that every social ill follows, the incarceration rates, the incriminality rates. And what happens, by the way, is that when you remove that family unit, it's not like they just go, okay, no family. Um, it, it becomes an empty space and they fill that void with something else, and that something else for black America has been a toxic culture. They turn to rappers, they turn to the streets, they pursue that paternity and that maternity elsewhere. Um, and this is, this is the huge epidemic that we're facing today. It is the reason why they believe that they have to be Democrats is because Hollywood insists upon being a Democrat. You're not allowed to be an open conservative in Hollywood. Well, if Hollywood and what's on the TV is raising you, then that's the only option you've ever been presented with. You couple that with the other pillar, which is the education system, also also decisively Democrat, decisively left-leaning, uh, specifically because their initiative is to further marry you to government. The Department of Education was created in the 1970s, and with the explicit goal to make sure that people that are growing up under the Department of Education, all of us, uh, believe that governance can deliver us from everything, and it's working. Um, so they destroyed the family, they attacked culture, and then they went toward the educational pillar, and that is the predicament that you see across black Americans. I try to fight all of those pillars in every single capacity, and, and the easiest way to fight the cultural one is to simply say on a stage every single day that black people don't have to be Democrats. So that's, that's it, you know, give another option. Hello, thank you for both being here. I'm coming to you as a wife, an entrepreneur, but mostly important, and most importantly, a mother. Um, my younger elementary school son came back from school last year about a book that he read in the public library about how a boy could be a girl, like a colorful child book. And I'm getting emotional over it because as a mother, how do you combat this? Or how do you look at your son and explain to him these huge moments when they're when you're the six-year-old and five-year-old is looking at you, asking all these questions, like mother to mother, I guess I'm just coming mm. for advice at this point. Well, mother to mother, I can't wait till my child is of the school age because I'm going to raise hell. I, I, I hear these things and I get excited. I get excited when I hear these things, I really do. Try it on my kids. I mean, people don't understand. What I'm, when I say that I'm a mother bear, try it on my kids. If you want to watch me breathe actual fire from my mouth, try it on my kids. And that is the attitude that every single mother needs to have. We need to adopt the attitude of recognizing this was ever intentional by design to remove parents, remove mothers from being the CEO of their homes, transferring them to the workforce so that the government, the Department of Education, could raise your children and indoctrinate them. The only way that you're going to reverse that is to fight it head on. They were scared. When mothers began showing up at school board meetings, they didn't know what to do, right? They had never seen it before. Mothers didn't go to school board meetings. What do you mean moms have to work a nine to five job like dad? They don't like that we're starting to pay attention. I quite literally, oh my goodness, when my kids go to school, I'm gonna be in that principal's office so much, and I'm like, what are we wearing today? What are we wearing for school? Because I'm not going to let it fly a single moment. Again, this is when you, I am calling upon mothers to act like Karens. If it is, it is up to us. We become, women become the CIA, the FBI, let you wanna find one detail about a guy on Instagram. You know how it is, girls. So we'll be like, actually, his sister likes to golf. You, we need to employ those skills of, uniquely set of, of skills that women have, and we need to give them to our children, and, and we need to use them 
to exercise dominion over our children. We're fighting right now a custody battle over our children with the state every single day. So you need to not get upset. You need to, you need to channel that upset and you need to make sure that you affect change. Become problematic for that school in saying that I'm not going to allow this to slide. I'm going to make sure that this is okay. I'm going to network with other parents and I'm going to raise hell until the situation changes. It must change and I think it's going to begin to change. So I'm starting to see mothers realize what's actually happening. Thank you. We got to get to the next question. Thank you.